and welcome along. Today we are going to take a look at the gameplay in Farming Simulator 19 surrounding the chickens. As you can see here we have a uh, healthy group of chickens uh, and we're going to see how we've set these up and what you need to do in order to uh, breed them, what you need to do in order to uh, make money off them and uh, and basically everything surrounding chickens. So the best place to start with this is in the shop where we will have a look at the pens available. So under the uh, placeables menu here, we have animal pens. And in the animal pens, there are two chicken coops that are available. You've got the smaller chicken coop, just the, the standard one for $20,000. Um, this costs $20 a day. Uh, we've got one of them already. Uh, it can hold up to 100 chickens uh, and uh, takes wheat and barley uh, and it is it is a place to keep your chickens uh the large uh, chicken coop is twice the price is forty thousand. can hold four times as many chickens can hold 400 chickens uh costs 40 dollars a day again takes wheat and barley uh, and again is a place to keep our chickens so those are your two chicken coop options obviously with uh farming simulator 19 you can have multiples of these so if you want to keep a massive amount of chickens you can add up to 10 of these uh, coops if you want. So we have placed one of the smaller coops here. And uh, if I come out of the gate here, this is a, this is a nice feature of this, uh, is that you've got an opening and closing gate. Uh, you've got your loading and unloading area here. Now chickens are the only animal in game that don't have a means of transport. So uh, again, if we go look in here and we look in the animal transports, you can see that we've got the horse box uh, and then we've got the various animal trailers. We've got the three animal trailers here. All of them either hold uh, cows, sheep and uh, sorry, cows, pigs and sheep. Uh, again, cows, pigs and sheep and cows, pigs and sheep. So there's no way of transporting chickens. You can go to the animal market and purchase them and they will get delivered to your chicken coop. Uh, but you could also just step into the front of your chicken coop here and press on uh, on the PC, it's R, and you get up the animal dealer. And from inside the animal dealer, you have four choices. So you've got uh, white chickens, black chickens, brown chickens, and roosters. Now, one thing I haven't tested on here uh, is that if you don't buy a rooster, I don't know if that will affect your um, uh, affect your ability to breed chickens now my my suspicion very much is that if you don't have a rooster you won't be able to breed chickens in the game uh you will all with with or without a rooster you will produce eggs but uh i do not believe that if you don't have a rooster uh then you will then you you cannot breed chickens uh so yeah so that is uh what this area is here uh the area over here uh, this is uh, where your eggs spawn. As you can see, we have spawned several boxes of eggs already. Uh, we're going to be using those later. Over here, we've got our tractor with uh, chicken feed, which we'll come into in a moment. Uh, around the side here, this is the feed point. So this is where our wheat and our barley goes for feeding the chickens. This is, this is the only uh, material that you need for the chickens. The only thing that you actually need to uh to give the chickens there is no water there is no straw or anything like that chickens will uh produce eggs and have productivity and breed uh if you are feeding them if you have uh, if you give them food so we will come back around here and the next thing we have uh is if we go into the escape menu here you can see that under the fifth tab along this is our animals tab you can see our chicken coop and you can see the availability. Now, I started off with 30 chickens and a rooster. As you can see, I have bred uh, over time, over about a period of two days with this. Uh, we have bred uh, an extra two chickens of each type. So what happens here is this reproduction rate and this next animal in, this applies to this group of chickens. So you breed, these breed separately. So we've bred, we've bred six chickens so far over a period of two days. We've got a reproduction rate of 20 hours and we're doing it per color in the breeding. Uh, then, uh, what we have here 
so that's our productivity. As long as you keep your, uh, uh, sorry, as long as you keep your chickens fed, they will keep a high productivity. A productivity rate uh, refers to, uh, uh, sorry, reproduction rate, of course, refers to how often they reproduce. Uh, next animal in refers to when the next animal is uh, is produced. And the eggs is how many litres of eggs are in the current box. So while I've got three boxes there, that does not mean I've got three litres across the three boxes. That is just the current box that is currently filling. Uh, cleanliness is the overall cleanliness of the entire pen. So you can see as we change between here, that doesn't that doesn't alter at all. Um, same with the food. So these are this pen information is across all of our chickens and our rooster within this pen. So that's everything that you uh, that you can see to manage your chickens in this screen here. And as I said, the chickens take uh, they take wheat, and uh, you can buy this premium chicken feed at the shop. Now this is the expensive way to do it. If we have a look at the shop. And have a look at this, uh, big bags. You've got your premium chicken feed here. It's 1,500 for uh, 1,000 litres of wheat. Uh, now, we've got... Now, uh, one of these bags almost fills our, our chickens up. But this many chickens, we, we our chickens are actually in a really good place. 897 litres, as you can see, is half full. So, it is, it is about 1,600. Uh, that you need. So it'll take at least two of these big bags to go from scratch. But you can also feed them wheat directly. And if we look at the price of wheat, uh, wheat and barley, you can see for a thousand litres of wheat, it is a fifth of the price uh, to sell it. In fact, looking at these prices, half the price is the most expensive. And, uh, and yeah, again, about half the price for wheat or barley. So you're by far the best way for you to do feed for your chickens is for you to harvest it yourself. The the bison combine, which we have over there, a fairly inexpensive combine. If you're just doing chicken farming, I would go for a fairly cheap tractor and a fairly cheap trailer and, and a cheap combine like that. And you will you will easily produce more than enough feed for your chickens. Uh, so you also have the whole thing of cleaning them. Now, I've discovered as well that when you clean them, they're really messy. They eat very little. Uh, and we almost refilled completely the last time I, I cleaned. So, yeah, they will keep going for a long time with a full trough with this many chickens. We are we are good. Uh, about a third full. So, yeah, they will, they will keep going for a while on that. And you can see what we'll do here is uh, we're not going to use the premium feed here. Because we do have a trailer full of, uh, of wheat over here. So we're going to tip this into our feeding trough. There we go. And you can see here we have 7,080 litres. Bring this, I'm going to reverse this in, which is fun with the dolly trailer. We'll reverse this up to the side of our chicken poop. There we go, and tip that there. So, tipping that in, as you see, it's not a huge amount that we needed to tip in. We'll just pull it forward, and, uh, and you see now our chickens are fully fed 1850 liters so it's yeah they will be very happy with that for a good long while so there we go so the only thing left to do really now that we've uh, now that our chickens are fed and uh, and they are you know doing well and reproducing everything is the reason why I've got the gator here is because we have two full box uh, full boxes of eggs so we're going to pick these up and put them in the back of our gator, which is one of the great uses for this gator. I've seen several people uh, using the gator for this job just to uh, just to sort of load the eggs in and get them to a cell point. Now, eggs sell 
a lot better in FS19 than they have done in previous versions. We will start up our gator, close up the back. And we can basically go to almost any cell point for this. I'm just going to put the uh, nose across the back there. And uh, if we look on the map, we can see that, or look in the cell point, the cell setup, the eggs sell for up to, now I have seen a high of 3,000. In fact, you can see the grain mill. Uh, 3,000, nearly 3,000 for the eggs. And that is because we only have uh, 300 litres in the back of our trailer here. Uh, 300 litres is not a huge amount. but So you need to get 1,000 litres to make that 3,000. It's going to take several days or a lot of chickens. Having said that, I think chickens are a much, much better way of making money than in any version of, uh, of Farming Simulator before. Farming Simulator 17, they very much were tacked on. Uh, they were passive. You got lots of eggs, but they weren't really worth it. You, you didn't make much money off them. So chickens, chickens in 17 were fairly useless uh, and very much felt like an afterthought. Uh, chickens in FS15, uh, while they were a playable animal, they were a lot uh, again, a lot worse. You picked up individual eggs and you, you basically ended up with a lot lower income from them. They were they were a very a very early starter animal. Here, there is a, there is a good argument for chickens being a great way to make uh, make some good cash, some good money, especially if you have a lot of them. And I'm looking at it and going that that on some of my series on my live stream things. Fantastic way to do it. We'll get a nice big chicken coop and fill it up. So you pull them over here. And as you can see, we've made 895 from our two uh, two boxes of eggs, uh, which is fantastic. That is uh, a really good amount for uh, 300. As we said, it was nearly 3,000 that we get for them. And, and to be honest, that is the overview of chickens. That is how to use chickens and and make money in farming simulator 19. Uh, so i hope that this has been useful uh, and all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time goodbye